today we are I'm getting ready to uh, get this tilt and trim put on the boat. It's an aftermarket tilt and trim. Yeah, I need you to yank that motor off of there for me. Okay. And set no it problem. on that motor stand. Can you do that? Sure. So it turns out that the Lennox units fail. They're not being made that well anymore. And so I've got this aftermarket tilt and trim. Oh yeah, I totally got this. You got it? Let me see. Lift it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, you got it. <laughs> so far so good. Now, I need you to set it on here. <laughs> that a girl. <laughs> Don't you drop my motor. <laughs> it's going down. Here is the wiring harness that came with the tilt trim unit. And take, take note that there are two fuses. You see both of these here. Now, if these get wet, you're going to be buying new fuses. So tuck them under something where they will stay dry and upright. Um, you can see, just <clears throat> that plugs into the unit. And here are the... Here are the leads for the battery terminals. And we have a switch. Plenty of wire to get to the console. And this, <clears throat> it's my understanding that these, this component can, can fail. I don't know how common it is, but with this manufacturer, I've heard tell of these failing, whatever you want to call this, a switch or a breaker or a, a shut off, power protection. Anyway, <clears throat> these can fail and i have actually bought a couple of extras of these for for both of my boats so it's good to have those in stock so if you've got a weekend where you're trying to go out and this unit has had some water intrusion which is the problem um, you have one in stock they can be expensive or they can be affordable you can you can pick up something comparable at uh at your auto supply store. I found a couple on Amazon that were pro properly rated to replace these, so there you go. All right, so here is this tilt trim. You see, I've got it, I've just got it clamped to here, and I've had to cut out a little area of this uh, transom attachment to get the, to clear these bolts. And, uh, now I've got four mounting holes. This would go ordinarily go into your transom, but as I've said, I'm, I'm mounting it to this attachment that was added to this boat, which elevates the motor a little bit. But uh, it looks good. To, uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna map out these holes and I'm gonna put bolts through and attach my tilt and trim. All right, so having to reconfigure this plate because this edge of the tilt wouldn't wouldn't clear this nut. And so I had to move it from here to here so that I would have clearance in here. And boy, that was some work. I had to grind out this weld right here to get that nut that far over so this whole assembly has come over that far now it should clear and the side too same thing all right now i have everything i have everything clearing i've got the uh, unit hooked up to power so i can test it okay. and as you can see it's not encumbered no kind of restriction anywhere. Now I've got those four holes on the back of the unit scribed onto the onto this plate and I can drill. Two will be through the boat. I'll just put some. Alright, so to be able to get at these, I have to remove had to grind a chunk out of here. Just about got it out. Big piece of aluminum out of the way. All right, that's it. Yep, 
and working on this. And that. What? Wow, it works. <laughs> Nice yeah. work, Exxon Man. Actual aftermarket lift motor. Wow. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. good job. Yep. Now we can take it out. Yeah. So, yeah. So I had to cut all this out. And you see I rammed this down into this. Oh. Yeah, before I kind of got a feel for it. Well, that was... Uh, well, this thing was had fallen down and lodged in there, and it uh, it just kind of. And when I lifted up, it was shoved in there and it bent. So I've strapped it out of the way for now. I got to configure something else. Nice. But I've got just the clearance that I need. <laughs> now we can go for a trip. Yeah. Yay! Yeah. Flounder gigging. Well, the, the state is about to end flounder gigging season and these guys are telling me that they're trying to make flounder and redfish a game fish that screw it up for all of us so you can't gig them See, I, who knows who knows what they're okay. doing but uh i bought this rig for that and i'm getting it ready for that and they're we, we'll, work it out. we'll talk about something else because that irritates me <laughs> yeah So I was finally able to get my boat uh, tilt and trim working so I could use my boat. Now I am replacing my boat motor, my boat lift, boat lift motor. So now we'll be able to put the boat on the boat lift. Not that one, of course. But keep this one out of harm's way. Keep the plug out of it. Keep it on the lift and we'll be good. Tacos, man. Come on, man. I'm swimming over there, yeah? Exo Bob? 